everybody. So let's do a little bit more digestive chemistry. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at Sudan 4 and how it can be used to identify fats. So here's our container of Sudan dye. And it contains this beautiful magenta dye. You can see how it dyed the white plastic, this beautiful pink color here. And this can be used to identify the presence of fat. So to do our experiment, what we're going to do is we're going to take two test tubes. These guys are empty. We're going to put a uh, small distilled water in each one. So I just happen to have some distilled water right here. Actually, you could get away with tap water if you wanted. This just happens to be reverse osmosis. I'm going to put a mill of water here in each one of these tubes. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to place some vegetable oil, which I happen to have right here, in only one of the tubes. Okay. So I've got 15 drops of vegetable oil in this tube here, and I have nothing but water in the other tube. So now to make this perfectly even steven, the tube that does not contain the vegetable oil, I'll put 15 drops of water in. Okay. So now, both of these tubes contain the same amount of liquid. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take some Sudan 4 dye. I'm going to take five drops. I'm going to put five drops into each of these test tubes. Trying very hard not to turn everything pink. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to mix these up a little bit. One of the fastest way to mix things in a test tube is go ahead and do what they call the clinking method. Okay, so now I have my two test tubes. And if you take a very close look at them, I just get my pointing device here. If you take a close look at them, you can see this test tube here is one uniform color. This test tube here is starting to develop a very dark ring along the top. Now, we know that fat is lighter than water, so fat's going to float on top of water. So we know this is fat floating on top of the water because we put it there. But take a look at what's going on with the color. In this test tube here, the fat ring is becoming much brighter pink than you see in this other test tube. And this is because a couple of things. Sudan 4 is what we call a fat-loving dye. It's what you would call lipolytic, right? Lipophilic, rather. It loves fat, so it's going to preferentially go up here into the fat. Whereas down here, there's no fat, so it's just basically spread out throughout the water. But over here, it's preferentially going up into the fat, so we're getting that beautiful magenta mark there. Okay, now if I take my tube of Sudan 4 in it, I'm going to show you, next thing we're going to show you on the next video is what happens when I add bile to these, okay? But for the moment, no, if I had put an unknown liquid in there and I didn't know what it was and I put that magenta dye, that Sudan 4 in there, I would know based on this behavior of the dye that this must be a fat. So you could take an unknown liquid go ahead and put some Sudan 4 in there and then 
boom. If you see this, you know there's fat present. Okay? All right. Everyone got that? Excellent. We'll get ready for the next one then. Bye.